Dear students, under the topic interpolation, the third formula that we are going to learn is Lagrange's interpolation formula. Previously, we have learned Newton's forward interpolation formula and Newton's backward interpolation formula, which can be applied to interpolate the value corresponding to an argument x only if the set of values x1, x2, etc. up to xn are equidistant values. If these values of x are not equidistant, then Newton's method is not applicable. In such a situation, we can apply a method called Lagrange's interpolation formula. Now, here we have a question which says that the following table gives the normal weight of a baby during the six months of life. So, here the age in months is given. So, when the baby is, is a newborn and then when it is two months old, three months old, five months old and six months old. The corresponding weight of the baby are given here. Uh, when it is newly born, the baby is five pounds. And uh, in two months, it is seven pounds. In three months, it is eight pounds. In five months, it is ten pounds. And in six months, it is twelve pounds. Now, here the question is, they are asking us to estimate the weight of the baby at the age of 4 months. So, now when the baby is 4 months, we have to estimate what is the weight of the baby. Now, here the given values are, uh, uh, we can observe that the values are not equidistant. That is, the difference between these two values, that is x0, x1 and x0 is 2. Whereas, the distance between x2 and x1 is 3 minus 2 which is 1. The difference between x3 and x2 is 2 again and the distance between x4 and x3 is 1. So we observe that the values are not equidistant. If the values are equidistant then easily we can solve I mean interpolate by using Newton's forward or backward. Whereas here the values are not equidistant. So we have to apply Lagrange's interpolation formula. And these are the corresponding weights of the baby which are to be taken as y0, y1, y2, y3 and y4. The value to be interpolated has to be taken as x. So x is equals to 4. The formula for Lagrange's interpolation formula is given here. In this formula we can observe that First, we are having uh, the terms in such a way that in the numerator, there is no x0. And in the denominator, all the values will be subtracted from x0. I am saying this for you to just to remember. And, in this, uh, and, and the full value is multiplied with y0. And then plus. Now here if you see, in the second term, there is no x1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, all the values are subtracted from x1 and it is multiplied by y1. And in the third term, if you see, there is no x2 in the numerator and all the values are subtracted from x2 in the denominator and multiplied by y2. So in general, we are having xn and there is no xn in the numerator and all the values are subtracted from xn and multiplied by yn. That xn, yn denotes the last term. Uh, value. For example, here we have uh, x and y n to be x4, y4. So we have to stop the formula when we attain uh, these values. So we should just remember that. So now let us solve this problem by using this Lagrange's interpolation formula. As the first step, we have marked the values uh, here x0, x1, x2, x3 and x4. So these are, this value is x0 x1 is equal to 2, x2 is 3, I mean uh, x3 is 5 and x4 is 6. Similarly, y0 is 5, y1 is 7, y2 is 8, y3 is 10 and y4 is 12 and x is equal to 4. Now, all these values we have to substitute in this formula. So, first uh, y will be equal to x minus x1, x minus x2, etc. up to x minus xn. Now here the value of x is 4. So it will be 4 minus x1 is what? 2. And then 4 minus x2 is 3. 
so like that till here xn is what x4 so it will be the numerator here will be 4 minus 2 4 minus 3 4 minus 5 4 minus 6 the whole divided by denominator is x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 etc up to x0 minus xn what is x0 x0 is 0 so it will be 0 minus 2 0 minus 3 0 minus 5 and 0 minus 6 so for you to remember simply we can say that four my numerator is 4 minus 2 4 minus 3 4 minus 5 multiplied with 4 minus 6 divided by 0 minus 2 0 minus 3 0 minus 5 and 0 minus 6 and this full value has to be multiplied with y naught which is 5 in a similar way we have to do for this term y2 y3 until y4 we have to find because here at last we are ending at y4 so i will just do that and i will show you now so as i told you i have done it for the first term now we will do it for the second term now second term is like x minus x naught has come so what is x is x is 4 and x naught is what 0 so 4 minus 0 now we have to leave x1 in the numerator if you see there is no x1 in the numerator here so leave that then 4 minus 3 4 minus 5 4 minus 6 divided by if you see here x1 minus x0 so what is x1 it is 2 so 2 minus 0 then it will be uh, x1 minus x2 so 2 minus 0 then 2 minus 3 2 minus 5 2 minus 6 and fully multiplied by y1 that is 7 so this is how we have to do now i will do that and i will write so that i have taken and written here now how will be the next one the next will be we can just um, uh, see here it is x minus x0 x minus x1 x2 is left out then x minus x3 so it will be 4 minus 0 4 minus 2 4 minus 5 4 minus 6 in the numerator divided by 3 minus 0 because we left this right so that will come so 3 minus 0 3 minus 2 3 minus 5 3 minus 6 and the full term has to be multiplied by y2 which is 8 so let me write that so i have written that here in a similar way we have to do for the other two values that is for this value uh, that is 4 minus leaving this 5 now 4 minus 0 4 minus 2 4 minus 3 4 minus 6 divided by what we left 5 we left right so 5 minus 0 5 minus 2 5 minus 3 5 minus 6 and all together it has to be multiplied with y3 so 10 and then other term will be 4 minus now we have to leave 6 up so 4 minus 0, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 4 minus 5, the whole divided by, this is what we left. So that one, so 6 minus 0, 6 minus 2, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 5 and all, the, all together it has to be multiplied with 12. So that is how we have to write. So that one I have done and I have written here. So the method I taught you, so we did for these three and these two also has been done in the same method. So do it very carefully. Now let us simplify this term by term. Now if you see here we have 4 minus 2. So what will be that? 2. And then here we have 4 minus 3. So that will be 1. And here we have 4 minus 5 which will be minus 1. And here we have 4 minus 6 which is minus 2. Okay. Now here in the denominator 0 minus 2 will be minus 2. And this is minus 3, minus 5, this is minus 6. So now we have to multiply all these terms. And then uh, the, new, the multiply uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 terms along with this 5 because this 5 is in the numerator. We have to multiply and divide it by these terms. So that I will do and I will show you. In a similar way we have to do for these terms also. So how we are doing. Now for example here 4 minus 0 will be. This is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Divided by 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 2 minus 5 is minus 3 and then 2 minus 6 is minus 4. 
So this is how we have to do. We have to do for the other terms also. And finally, I will write and I will show you. So after simplifying like this for these terms also and writing, we obtain this. Okay. So this is how we have obtained. Now let us simplify this further. So if you see here, it is 2 multiplied with negative 1, negative 2. So first of all, what we will do in the numerator, we will, we will check out for the signs. So if you see here, minus, we have we have one minus here and here also a minus. So when we multiply minus into minus, it becomes plus. So the numerator here is positive, first of all. And what is the numerator uh, here? 5 twos are 10, 10 twos are 20. So it is 20. So positive 20 divided by the denominator. We will first uh, do the uh, sign, okay? So minus into minus is plus plus into minus 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 into minus uh, plus so if you see there are four negative signs like that also you can check out so four is an even number so obviously when four negative signs are multiplied it will become positive so the denominator is going to be a positive term and when we multiply the numbers in the denominator we observe that we get 180 so that we will write here in a similar way we will do for this term also now if you see in the numerator here we have plus plus and this is uh, this is actually minus 1. So minus into minus plus. So th there are no other signs in the numerator. So we can see that the numerator has become positive. And when we multiply the terms in the numerator, what we get is 4, 2 times is 8, 8, 7 times is 56. So we can write positive 56 divided by in the denominator. First we will see for the sign. So we have three negative terms. So when we have three negative terms, three is an odd number. So definitely the denominator will be a negative term. And when we multiply the denominator, 3, 2 times is 6, 4, 6 times is 24. So we get 24 here. Okay. Now, uh, then uh, in, the, uh, in the next term, here we are in the numerator, we will check for the sign. The sign here is negative. There are two negative signs. So when they are multiplied, it because it's going to become a positive number. And when we multiply the terms, uh, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 16 multiplied by 8 is 128. So in the numerator, we are getting 128, which is a positive number. Divided by, in the denominator, there are two negative signs. So again, it is also going to become positive. And uh, 3, 2 times is 6. And uh, 6, 3 times is 18. So we are having positive 18 in the denominator also. And now this term we will evaluate. So what we get is... In the numerator, there is only one negative sign. So, it, the numerator is going to be a negative number. So, I am writing that here. Okay, so negative. And when we multiply, 4, 2 times is 8. 8, 2 times is 16. 16 multiplied with 10 is 116. Divided by, uh, now in the denominator, uh, they, uh, if you see, there is one negative sign. So, we will have again the denominator to be a negative number. And when we multiply the denominator, it is 5, 3 times is 15. 15 multiplied by 2 is uh, 30. So now we can uh, see that we are having negative 160 divided by negative 30. So this is uh, the simplification for this term. Now for this term, uh, if you see there is one negative sign in the numerator. So this term is going to be negative in the numerator. And when we multiply all the terms, 4, 2 times is 8 and 8 is multiplied by 12, we are getting 96 divided by now in the denominator uh, here we don't have any negative sign so the terms are going to be positive and uh, when we multiply all the denominators we observe that we are getting 72 so that is positive 72 so these are the values that we get now we will put all these values together and we will write here now i have taken and written here now this 20 by 180 plus 56 by negative 24 plus 128 divided by 18 and then here plus negative 160 divided by negative 30 plus minus 96 divided by 72. So now we shall find this by the help of a calculator. Now while using a calculator uh, we observe that. So you can just uh, do this with the help of a calculator. So 20 divided by 180 is 0 0.111. We will have up to 3 decimals. Okay. Now here. Next term when we go, we have a plus sign here and we have a negative sign here. So plus into minus, we will have minus. And what is 56 divided by 24? So 2.333 as I am taking three terms uh, after the decimal. And then plus 
128 divided by 18 which is 7.111 and then now with this numerator is negative sign and denominator is also negative so both gets cancelled and so we have 160 divided by 30 and the value is plus 5.333 and then the last term so plus multiplied with minus so that will be minus 96 divided by 72 is 1.333 you can just check this with the help of a calculator for your reference so therefore uh, finally uh, when we just uh, do this with the calculator we are getting the answer to be 8.889 so i am maintaining two three decimals pounds so so the weight of the baby is 8.889 pounds so now finally i have taken and written the answer here therefore the weight of the baby at the age of four months is equal to 8.89 pounds so i have just uh, rounded rounded up with this and i have written here so this is the answer i hope you would have understood the concept of lagrange's interpolation and how to use the lagrange's interpolation formula thank you